Thank you, last friend Corda. Uh, there are umpteen aspects of the proposed pension levy that are worthy of discussion here tonight. For example, the way the levy was presented to the social partners at the 11th hour. The way the public service has been singled out by government and some in the media. The anomalies within the proposed system. The way that those who are actually to blame for the economic mess would be unaffected by this proposal. The fact that most public servants already make very significant contributions to their pensions and that their pay is reduced to take account of their pensions thanks to benchmarking. But what I want to focus on here this evening is fairness, because fairness is at the very heart of this. The government has made great play of the fact that we are all in this together. But clearly, this is not the case. If we are all in this together, then why is the public service alone being asked to clean up the mess left by Fianna Fáil, the financial institutions and the property developers? If we are in this together, then why have the executives and boards of those banks engaged in fraud fraudulent accounting not been removed and referred to the fraud squad? If we were all in this together, then why does Brian Goggin still get a salary of almost €2 million? Euro? And how come he doesn't have to pay a levy? While a public service worker earning 1 80th of what Brian Goggin will earn this year has to pay €1,000 in a levy. If we are all in this together, then why is the government not touching the 6,500 self-administered pension schemes in the private sector that get huge tax breaks? The truth is that unless a national consensus can be reached on how our economic difficulties can be solved, then there is no prospect of recovery for this country. I want to read one of the several hundred emails that I, like every other member of this House, received over the past week or so. Because for me, this one best sums up the unfairness of the levy. And I'm quoting from the email. It's a woman in my constituency who said, I work mornings in Dublin City Council, earning the princely sum of €20,000 a year. And my husband is a cleaner in the BEC. We have a mortgage of €1,500 Euro a month. We have no car. We don't go on holidays. All our furniture has been donated to us because all of our money goes on our mortgage for our three-bedroomed house in Finglas, courtesy of the greedy property developers who push the prices up so high that it is now a noose around our necks. We have a young child. And if this pension levy goes ahead, we will lose out on around €300 Euro a month, which means we can't afford our house. She went on to say, I know that a lot of people are losing their jobs, but how is our family losing our house going to help anyone? I have never claimed one penny from this country, and neither has my husband. We are responsible decent, tax-paying citizens, and we don't deserve this. For this family, and many others like it, the levy is unfair and downright reckless, because it takes no account whatsoever of ability to pay. Yes, civil and public servants have, in most cases, secure pensions, but a secure pension in the future doesn't mean that a person can afford to make extra contrib contributions now. Yes, civil and public servants have, in most cases, secure employment, but they have based their mortgages and weekly outgoings on their employment, and security is, worth, is actually worthless if their wages don't pay their bills. Picking on easy targets is not the act of a leader. Thank you. It's the act of a bully. The Labour Party motion urges the government to call a halt to this proposal, to go back into talks with the social partners. An agreed, unified and fair approach is clearly the only way forward in this country.
and there is now an onus on government to work to try and achieve that consensus because it's only through consensus that we can see recovery. Thank you, Alaska.